I'm about to install my first 034 tune. Do you have any advice for using a battery support unit power supply versus a charger or connecting jumper cables to a running car? Uh, we typically recommend the SeaTech 20 amp charger, which is a typically we would recommend 20 amp type charger minimum. Yeah, for most cars, that's that's sufficient. If you if you're running an 8 amp charger, it's the the 8 amps is not enough to address the the current load that the car uses while it's just on flashing. So you want you want a 20 amp. I don't see anything wrong with connecting to another car. Is that, that's that's perfectly okay, right? It's generally fine. Because you can get a lot more than 20 amps through that. Yeah. Um, you, you could always just have a uh, a spare battery that you connect with jumper cables. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a limited additional supply if yeah. you need a longer amount of power. It's, it's going to drain. But but you uh, could have a charger on that. And, yeah. you know. But it, we, we, I think again, the C-Tech's around 200 bucks. Yeah, like like 160, yeah. 170. There's, there's but, people um, you know, I would say if you're going to get a charger too, make sure you get a reasonably decent one. There's some, it's not also not just about the current supply. It's how clean the voltage is coming in. If you've got this, some gnarly, yeah, cheap, ancient battery charger, it's well, someone would just really dirty throw power. a ton of voltage. At yeah. Or, 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 you know, way outside of what, you know, a properly designed charging circuit should be. They can cause more problems than they're worth. 